This is Daryl Scott, and the tip for today is how to format formula columns in a generic inquiry. This is a CS3 Acumatica tip. As you can see here, I have a fairly simple generic inquiry based on a single table, AR tran. And looking at the results grid, I have the quantity, unit price, the extended price, the unit cost, and the extended cost, which is a formula of quantity times unit cost. And then I have a, another formula for margin, which is the unit, uh, sorry, the extended price minus the extended cost. So let's see what this inquiry looks like. Well, it looks pretty good, except these formula columns are not formatted like I'd like. So let's see if we can fix that. Back on the generic inquiry on the results grid, there's a column call, called schema field. And here, if we pick a column, and basically any column that is formatted in the, in the database the way we want our column in the generic inquiry to be displayed, select it as the schema field which gives the generic inquiry guidance on how to format this column. Save that and view it. And now our calculated columns are showing the way we'd like. Similarly, if we take a value that is currently being formatted as numeric and we assign it to a alpha related schema field, save it and look at it. And you can see that our values now are taking on a more text-like looking appearance. It's that easy. Have fun with your generic inquiries. Thank you.